Good day everyone, my name is Ogbaudu Shesong from KGIS. On today's tutorial, I'll be starting from where I stopped on my last three week tutorial. We'll be continuing on how to uh, how to use your tracker. If you remember on our last tutorial, I discussed on how to use a geo tracker application. A geo tracker application is a mobile application that supported both iDroid and iPhone. Then on that my previous tutorial, I, I showed you how to use a geo tracker and I demonstrated the way in which you can use geo tracker. Then after that, I took the data that I got from the site and I tried to make a comparison between what I got from the site and the office work. The office work which I did is how I imported the troll tracker from the application to my laptop and from my laptop to the Google Earth and from the Google Earth we tried to cross-check what we measure manually from the site. If you remember from the site, we measure we measure a building, whereby the, the building is 30.4 meter by 26 meter. Then when we now went to the Google Air to, to check what, what we manually measure, we got that we measure the length is 30 meter, whereby the width is uh, 26 meter, with the differences of 0.4 meter by 1 meter. Then on today now, and I said last time that, I'm going to teach you the two ways of doing it, which the first one I've taught you now how to import from GeoTracker to Google Earth. Then today, I'll be taking you on how to import from GeoTracker and make a manipulation in the AutoCAD software. Let's get started. If you remember on our last tutorial, I'm very sure that you still remember this interface. This is a Google Earth interface. Then from here now, I'll be skipping some, some steps because some of the steps that I've already gone through this on my last tutorial, then I'm very sure that you remember this, this on our last tutorial, whereby I said the, the weight is from the word measure, not manually, the weight was 26 meters, whereby the, the length was 30.4 but when we try not to check or check here we got 30 meter by 27 meter whereby the difference was 0.4 by 1 meter then on today now what i'm going to do now is that i won't be using google head what then the focus the focus point of today will be um the gotten data from geo tracker and autocad and this is an autocad file I will be introducing you to a, a, to a, a plugin called Spark2. A Spark2 is a, is a plugin to AutoCAD that was created by one of my colleagues, and his name is Imro Hannes. On the description of this video, I've already put a link whereby you can use to download this Spark2. I ever I have these Spark2 on my laptop. What am I going to do? What I'm going to do now is just to press a command as net load then if you are using a no a newer version of autocad any alphabet that you press in on your keyboard means something to autocad then at what i'm as you see now as i press net load now if you are using a lower version it might be difficult to use this application but if you are using a higher version like starting from 212 upward that's then i'm using autocad 2023 then let me type I've, I'm, I'm typing net load now as so i type net load you see now that i cannot press enter pressing enter now what i will do now is that i'm going to look for the destination where i save my spark to as you can see this spark to now i've already copied it inside it for that but if you are just downloading this spark to for the first time i would advise you keep it in a initial destination whereby you can easily access it if you want to use it then because now but for you now to load these spark tools now 
don't forget that you are going to type net load once you type on net load auto car will prompt up a download whereby to ask you to source for where you are to source for the the plugin of the dll file you want to load into the autocad then because i have already had my own i'll click on load now i click on load then once i click on once i click on load it, it loaded the the dll into the autocad then automatically it's going to create a a platform within the interface of autocad i said name spark tools under this now you will be seeing spark tools see now these are the components these are the usefulness or let's say these are the tools which which comprise spark tool from here you can see cfb file gps file last files kml file cut polygon create convert on from point create polyline from point create polygon from point and mark a chain a change along the center and others you can see it there but how today discussion will not be, will be on two things one will be on gps files and kml file if you remember on my last video tutorial on how to use your tracker i taught you on how to share your cutting data from your data to to your laptop or to your system then what have I advised you now if you remember that one we were once we were trying to check to transfer uh, the data from your tracker he asked us what kind of format uh, do we really want to save this thing which might give us three options one 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 of the options uh, was uh, it gave us KML I wish it KML KMZ and GPS. Then I remember before that one I chose KMZ. Then I will imagine. Let me hope that uh, you you are still going to redo those kind of step now because I'm going. To, I'm not going to do that. You know. I will advise you go back to your data that you go back to your your tracker. Share that data again as as one of this format is the either KML or gps because this part two doesn't understand kmz it understand only kml the which means that you must import it as kml or kmz but on this tutorial today i'm going to practically these two then i have already converted i've already shared my data my, my gotten data from the site as km kml and gps file then let me minimize my service then if you remember the folder that we use on that day was named as geo tracker then i'm i've opened my geo tracker now if you check this file and click on now you will see that after the date the day we created this file was on the 20 2020 on the 10th 04 then if you check very well you see a packet called gps because this file as you are seeing now it's a gps file then if i go into the file file data folder as you can see this is the kml and this one you see this is the kmz which means that if you want to load this either of this it must be kml not kmz then now what i'm not going to do now and i'll go back to automatic format then i will now click on kml once I click on KML, then I will now look for the destination where I save the file, which I save at KML. As you can see now, I've already let me go back. Let me go back a little, a little bit. Then as you see now, this is the okay. Let me go back a little bit. Yes. Then I'm now on my desktop now. These are the folders on my desktop. Then inside the folder of my desktop, I will look for the the, the, the folder that I named at your tracker. And this is the folder that I've exploited it now. <laughs> then under now now i will now see a folder you can call a subfolder called file data and inside the file data i will double click on it again then i will now see the one the file called kml so you see the type now i can now load this inside now i press open once i press open directly it loaded in um an alphabet and this alphabet has been has been the point that we created from the side with the help of the tracker then 
we might now what we now do now is that you can go back to the home of your laptop click on your move your laptop or click on your layer property half the let me up this what's the name of let me check the name of this this name is special point okay special tools point and then then okay now what we now do now is that let me go and click on spark tools i've clicked on spark tools now as you can see now then i will now create select i will now select create polygon from points therefore i click on create polygon from point now then it are, you now ask me to select an object i can select everything at once i will now highlight and select everything at once once i've selected everything at once you see now what then if you check under this command there it says selected objects specify op opposite corner it fund which means that it has selected a hit property then i can now right click now once I right click now, automatically it, it generates a boundary by itself. As you now see now, it has generated a boundary by itself. But if you remember previously, when I was at the beginning of this tutorial, I gave the, the dimension of what we measure from the side, which I called 30.4 by 26 meter. Then as we are now seeing now, what we are going to do now is to we will be checking if what we got on the side and what Oscar gives on now are the same. Then let me type di, which is the high mid distance. When I press distance, then I will now pick from C. Check the distance from C to B. You see now the distance from C to B it gave us 29 point. You see, it gave us 29.98. Then if we round it up to a, a whole number, it's going to give us 30 meter. Then let me now redo the distance again. Then I'll check from B to E. If I click on B to E now, it gives us 27.08. If we round it up to a, a, a whole number, it should give us 27 meter which means that from what we got from this google earth and what we got from the autocar are the same but only the difference between them it is still less it is still point, point, zero point 0.4 by one meter then let me just do this now so that i can let me just take this now uh, i will be checking on the uh, i will be checking the the, the the length from google earth now just, but i've already done this on my last tutorial then let me choose a color let me speak cyan okay then i pick this one then let me change it to, to the thickness okay then let me pick from here then to c to b then check the dimension you see it's it's a starting meter then what we got from autocad was 29.9 and if run the top to give us 30 meter okay then let me check let me also check b to e b to e is 27 the front top to give us 27 meter understand then you could see that you can you could see the important of using your tracker to get data from the site and how to manipulate it or how to text strong what you have gotten from the site with the help of google head or AutoCAD, then the you can see from Auto, Google at AutoCAD. Um, from now you can see that um, the things works out and it gives us what we really want. But for then I've already used how I've already used KML file. Then let me now also try how to use imported DBS file. Then now for this now I'm going to press Ctrl N to create a new environment. Then I've created a known environment now. Then what I'm going to do now, I'll press on the uh, GPS files to search for the GPS data. Because my GPS file is, is not inside the, the, the feed data, I will now go, go <laughs> I will now backward it. Then I'll backward it now, it have shown me in there. Under the type, you can see GPS file. Then I'll I click on it like this, I will now press open. You see now, as I press open, because it's a GPS file, it comes with the with the tracker that we use our geo tracker geo tracker to generate from the site. Then as you're now seeing this now, then if you see if you check this this 
this um this PS file that we ported to AutoCAD, it has it has all every similarity with the let me hold this one. It has every similarity, the same similarity with the the with the AutoCAD file, with the with the GPS file we imported to AutoCAD file. If you check with this site on auto, on Google S was chamfer and this side I check here now this way in here was chamfer let me show you to you see the two sides here have been chamfer that you can see now then um yes what i'm not going to do now because we don't really need this this polyline i can what's the name of the file of the layer okay the name of the flare is the just power to gps trackers then track tracks then let me off it here and this is it i can froze it or off it anyone you like just do it then now um, i have now retained the the point has been labeled in has been labeled on your tracker c b e d then i'll still go back here now and click on generate polygon from point if i select on it like this then i'll I click again to generate the the boundary then if we go back and redo the same thing that we did on our last um test running then if i check the weight now it still gave me 29.98 if we convert it to a proper a, a whole number to give us 30 meter then let me also go i'll redo it again and click on this check b e and it still give us the same thing then you can see there's no difference between either you use GPS file or KML file and put it into AutoCAD. It will still give you what you really need. But now to me now, if they not ask me, which software will I, will I prefer to use to manipulate your tracker data? I would prefer to use AutoCAD because the reason why I say I would prefer to use AutoCAD, anything I'm going to do has to be in AutoCAD. Then like now, if I'm trying to make it, uh, if I'm trying to do something like make an easy manipulation, now, it is easier to use AutoCAD to get it done. Then, if I really want to know the location, if the if the what I got from the site, I'm, I want to know the site. I want to know the location. Then I can take it to Google uh, and see check the satellite the satellite image. I will be stopping here for today tutorial. I will beg you please kindly subscribe, comment. And share this to your colleagues because sharing and commenting is one of the things that you do to encourage the tutor. Please, bye for now. Don't forget that this tutorial is being dedicated to Nigeria Institute of Templar Open Chapter. Bye, see you next time.